This week, we start Sefer Vayikra, and the Torah details the various karbonos that are brought. The karbonos brought from animals, and from birds, and from flour, and the Torah talks about the concept of gazela and how important it is that we distance ourselves from gazela and the fact that it's not a beautiful thing in the eyes of Hashem if a person steals in order to bring a carbon. Rashi, in the first, second Pasuk, the Pasuk tells us, Adam ki yakrav mikam karban la Hashem. A person, when he brings a carbon to Hashem. Chazal tell us, Rashi brings, that the word Adam is extra. It's alluding to, says Rashi, Adam harishon. Adam harishon never brought from something stolen because everything was his. So to you, you shouldn't bring from something stolen. Torah is making the point that we wouldn't say that a person should not bring from a stolen item to bring a carbon. Meaning, as opposed to a person might think, you know, if I bring a carbon, it's a beautiful thing. So if I steal in my business and then I use the money to give tzedakah and bring carbonos and do other things to benefit our Kaddish Baruch, to give nachas to our Kaddish Baruch, well, maybe it's a beautiful thing. So it could be I'm making an extension, but I think Rashi is making the point that Hashem does not want stolen items. As Chazal tells us, Hashem has all the animals and all the money already. He doesn't need us to steal in order to give it to Him, and it's not going to be finding favor in the eyes of Hashem to do such a thing. We find another allusion to the concept of Gizela, also hinted to in the Pasuk. So, when we bring an animal on the Mizbeach, so we bring... Among the parts that we bring on the Mizbeach is the innards. But one of the things that we throw away when we bring a bird, the bird, interestingly, we actually burn the feathers on the Mizbeach, even though they smell disgusting. Rashi explains it's in order to give chashivas to poor people because usually richer people bring animals. You're usually dealing with somebody who has less financial means if he's bringing a bird as an adava, as a... Uh, a choice to gift to gift Dakar Baruch Hu. They bring the, the bird they bring the feathers on to show that it's still that it's still precious to give it extra chashivus in the eyes of Hashem. At the same time, the Pasuk tells us in Tazayan, they do remove the mira. What's the mira? The mira is the, I think it's the stomach or maybe the uh, it might be the inte- the large or small intestine. It's the part that has the food that the animal eats. Why? Why do we throw out the mura? So the Medrash Rabbah tells us, Rabbi Tuma Chanchuma Bar Chaniloi explains, because birds fly around, they, they eat whatever they can get. And so a bird ends up eating stolen goods. You know, birds don't have Averis and Mitzvahs, but what the bird is eating is stolen goods. And so Hashem says, since the Zephek, since the mura is full of stolen items, it shouldn't be brought on the Mizbech. That's why we chuck it, we don't bring it on the Mizbech. As opposed to a behema, behema eats from its trough of its owner. It doesn't eat from other things. Because specifically, even a deer is not one of the animals brought on the Mizbech. A deer is not kosher for a carbon. I think it has to do with this idea of because it's not a pursued animal in the same... It's not a prey type of animal. It's not a domestic... I think it's, it's not a domesticated animal, I should say, in that sense. And the animals that are brought are like cows, sheep, goats, domesticated animals, and they come and they simply... They eat what you feed them. I don't know what they... And so there's no gazelle. They're not eating anything stolen. If you could bring the car, but the, the stomach on them is back. When you deal with a bird, a bird eats, flies around, eats whatever it can find, and therefore you'd be bringing stolen food, so to speak, on the Mizbeach, and Hashem is so uninterested in Gezela, repulsed by Gezela, uninterested in seeing Gezela on on the Mizbeach, that we don't bring the stomach of the bird on the Mizbeach. So Beno Bechaye points out that it should be a wake up call to us on the severity of Gezel. Hashem distances from the Mizbeach the Clay Hamazon, the place where the, of a bird, the place where the bird stores its food, so it's because it holds gazelle. So a person also should realize he's going to be distanced from the mechitz of Akarz Baruch, he's going to be distanced from Hashem's presence if he has stolen items and he doesn't return them. That, in fact, gazelle removes us from 
this world and from the next world. Osa Nirmiyo tells us, Osa Osher Voba Mishpat Bachatzi Yamav Yazvenu. Meaning that well, he's either he's deserting the Osher, the Ashiris, or the Oshiris is deserting him. That's in this world. And in Om Habo also he's going to fall from the Kiseya Kavod. Meaning, I think what he means is that the the Shama starts by the Kiseya Kavod. Hashem sends it down to this world, and the Shama is supposed to go back to the Kiseya Kavod. And Hashem will be distanced from the Kiseya Kavod, won't be allowed into that Mechitza if it comes back with the Averas of Gezeo, if a person has it. I mean, the Chabetz Chaim brings in the Sefer Svas Tamim about the severity of Gezeo and how people can come back as Gilgulim if they leave this world with outstanding debts like that. And Rabbeinu B'chayi tells us, he quotes the Pasuk in Telm Chavdalet, we say it all the time when we put back the Sefer Torah, Mi Yale Bahar Hashem, Mi Yokum Mkom Kacho, who will go up on the mountain of Hashem? Who will st- who will arise in this place of kedusha? A niki chapayim uvar leiva, one who is clean hands and a clean heart. Meaning that that's the schus that that's of all the things David Amel could have picked. Who's going to go on the Har of Hashem? A niki chapayim, somebody with clean hands, somebody who doesn't deal with gazela. Just gives us a little bit of an insight into the severity of an avera that unfortunately. Has become is very much nasus kehater. People stumble in it very greatly. Chazal tell us rubam begazel that most people have trouble with this, and I think most people who work unfortunately see that there's a lot of problems, a lot of challenges when it comes to money. That it's a big nisayon, and um, we always have to take us over us. We always have to remember that stealing is a big deal, and that means taking things that are not coming to us and doing things with money that are not appropriate. Something we have to be cognizant of. Mr. Sisharam tells us being wealthy is an Nisayon, being poor is an Nisayon. They're both Nisayonists in this area. A person has tons of money, they always, uh, they're always looking to make more money, and they're involved in business, and they have a lot of potential opportunities. Heard of Misa recently, somebody went to Shmo Kamenetsky, asked him about filing bankruptcy on something, so that he could get out of paying the debt. And uh, I guess the person was somebody who was able to afford to pay it, but they were going to do the, play the system. And Shmuel said, you're asking me if you're allowed to steal. He said, Rebbe, it's legal. He said, you're asking me if you're allowed to steal. If you back and forth, I mentioned the personal cop. Just because it's legal doesn't mean it's not gazela. And, you know, we deal with issues in billing, in different businesses. I'm sure most people have uh, many examples beyond what I have. And uh, at the end of the day, we have to learn most of it. We have to keep sensitive to the fact, to the uh, importance of being uh, careful with money. And we have to re, uh, revitalize and uh, rejuvenate ourselves with these types of divrei Torah. Remember that, uh, that Hashem sees everything. Hashem knows your bank account. Hashem decreed at the beginning of the year how your finances are going to work. And at the end of the day, Hashem wants us to play by the rules and not bend the rules. And when we... Bend the rules, Hashem is turned off by it. Hashem will not accept such a person into his mechitza in a certain sense. May be to have the gvura, have the strength, to be able to hold fast in these types of nisyonos, to be able to be strong and do the right thing and walk in the derech HaTorah. Wishing you all a wonderful Shabbos.